Hi, Graham from Cold Tool Centre. Um, today we're just looking at the Fragrum Cut 40 Plasma Cutter. Um, no country of origin, but it looks very much like a genetic Chinese type machine. A great value at just $550 Australian from us. Uh, cheap enough for the DIYer, tradie, or even for you know, an artist or something like that. They're rated at 12mm on steel, cutting, 5mm on stainless, and 3mm on aluminium. Um, those figures are optimistic, you know, you'll cut thinner than that, okay, but uh, you know, pushing at that is, is sort of quite a lot, very much on the limit, so I will show you later some demonstration cuts and that sort of stuff. They basically have, you on the side, you've got on off switch, amps, you have a gauge which you set your pressure from, because it's got, you're using, you have to use a compressor with this to run your air for your, pl for your plasma. You've got the outlet for your um, power, the, in, the earth for the power and the, also the, the other lead which goes in there is that one for the switch for turning it on and off. On the back all it has is an air inlet and a power in that. Quite lightweight, great unit. Uh, we'll get back to you in the workshop and show you how to do a bit of cutting and some of the stuff, fancy stuff you can do with it. Thanks a lot. Hi, welcome to my shed. Um, I'm going to show you this welder and the paper cutter on a couple of videos. Have a few of the noise coming from the fan over there because we're at the top of the North Queensland, Australia. It's quite hot. So um, the rest of the video will probably be more close ups of this stuff to try and explain to us in the background. Okay, we've got the cut 40 symbol for all the, all the, all the hoses and everything on it. In the back we have the air hose which hooks up to our compressor. The 15 amp plug, power port. We have an earth tank. And then we have the main torch and the, the actual switching for the torch. The torch has got replaceable tips in here which are consumable. Uh, and you will use a few of those because these type of torches are what they call touch starts. They're high frequency touch so you have to push your trigger, put on the job and then pull it. That's how I do it. I'll show you some cuts in a sec. <coughs> Things you should get for your um, plasma cutter. A block of wood or something which you can use to clamp down as a straight edge. Wherever you cut with the torch, it's going to move cut. If you're moving backwards and forwards, you're going to get a big jiggly line. So if you want to cut a straight edge, you'll need a straight edge to run along. Unless you've got a very, very steady hand. Gloves, glasses or something, some safety gear. These are a couple of arty things that I've done. I'll show you how to do these, this sort of thing later, and how you do cut that type of thing out. Okay, piece of 5mm mild steel. We've got the uh, cut 40 set up on pressure is about 45 psi and about 30 amps of power to cut. And then we'll clamp, put the earth clamps on, clamp your setup on, torch, hot bits will fall all over your feet so be careful where your feet are. And it sits on the material to start. Push the button high frequency and it will then start as it's on the material. Then you drag it through reasonably quickly. That's there. The torch will keep running air after you finish so it cools down. That's the sort of, that's the sort of cut we're getting. Okay, I'm going to try a freehand cut. The main thing that gives you problems is they ca catches and you get dirt on the end of your tip. type stuff. If you want to do something like that, yeah, or this is a, another type of skull, the Punisher skull, my young fellow wanted that one. That's 3mm plate, just cut out of that. Basically all you do, you find the piece you want to do. If it's very similar both sides, you just fold it in half, draw it, then cut it out as a template, open it, you've got your full size template. Place it on your steel that you're going to use. 
put maybe a couple of bits of steel or something to hold it down. Then basically trace, trace around the uh, holes, etc. that you want to cut out. A sharpened bit of chalk. This, this one's just giving you an idea because I'm not going to do it. basically just use our torch and we follow that around over on the bench of course otherwise you touch a bench clamp it down do a section at a time so you go from there to there around there just cut and cut it out end up with that the slag will just grind off or flap wheel off of the slag and then you can get it nice and shiny if you want by, by grinding or flapping it down you wouldn't want to paint it because it looks like wood and steel. Even that looks okay. Even that looks okay. Thanks. Okay.